Hello everybody. Now this question that what makes a good communicator? This question uh, pops up in everybody's mind who wants to become a good communicator. And there would be a variety of answers available all over the places I'm sure about. It, okay. Now basis my experience in this domain and uh, basis the kind of interactions which I had with hundreds of people uh, whether it was one to one discussions or the thousands of people whom I interacted in the group sessions I am very clear about the answer okay and that is what I am going to share with you and I will request you to use your own uh, judgment about it that how you want to take it okay I am just sharing with you what I have concluded based on my experience as I said okay now when we talk about uh, your communication so communication means what you whatever you are thinking you are able to say this and uh, the person is able to get that that is what the whole communication loop is or when somebody else is speaking you are able to listen to that properly and you are able to infer that uh, properly that is what communication means okay now considering this as communication let's see that what i feel is the number one criteria to become a good communicator okay and according to me this says your clarity of thoughts okay what do i mean by that clarity of thought means whatever information you are getting it whether you are listening to someone or whether you are thinking to speak whatever is going on in your head how beautifully you are able to structure swift through that uh would say a uh, pool of thoughts and get the best out of it to present that is what will decide how good communicator you are now think that you are you are a great speaker with respect to the kind of words you use your way your diction your modulation let's say you are great at that so and you don't have content you don't have clarity of thoughts what will happen that people will listen to you for a few minutes people will listen to you for some time but in the absence of good clarity of thoughts in the absence of good content people won't be able to stick to you for long uh, because they are not getting any value okay and everybody is very selfish okay uh, in the positive sense i'm talking about it people will 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 will, will be willing to get some value out of your talks and uh, they won't just listen to your flowery language for 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 more than a few minutes so you need to have a very good clarity of thoughts now some of you would be saying yeah ajay i know that okay but uh, but how to develop that kind of a clarity of thought so that's a question which i say it's a million dollar question that is what i would like to answer to an extent today in this uh, small video so there could be again variety of ways to have a very clear thought process uh, it, it's basically depends upon your personality okay uh, so i won't get into that meditation and the other part of it uh, the your lifestyle and everything what i'm going to focus on is a very simple but very effective technique to have a very clear thought process okay now let's answer that question and look at this image writing is thinking okay now if you look at the top part of this image you'll see a lot of alphabets which shows uh, lots of thoughts going on in your head and the moment you start writing you start thinking more that to which one thought you write first which is the second one which is the third one okay so the tool which i'm going to discuss with you today is is is, is the is writing okay how writing uh, can really help you in structuring your thought process now every time i talk about it with my students many of them they say that but ajay we are not or i am not a writer okay so i ask them what do you mean by being a writer anybody who writes a book or writes a blog is a writer okay according to me anybody who writes a paragraph who writes a page is a writer okay so anybody who can write and writes is a writer so you are a writer okay and writing and thinking both are two peas in a pod in a powerful pod okay so if if you combine these two the three do these two things together you would become a very powerful communicator now see what happens basically when you are speaking and when you are about to speak and you are thinking and and by thinking what happens you are thinking and you are then speaking there is processing happening at the same time so you you are not getting enough time to really process your information you are just delivering but when you get into writing what happens there is a separation there is a gap between your delivery and your thoughts you have some moments of pause okay silence which is celebrated right that silence that pause that gap 
gives you an opportunity to look at your thought to find out the gap to find out the holes and plug them in or it to find out the writing find out the proper flow of writing the proper flow of thoughts which people would be able to infer easily so that gap between you and your thoughts really help you become a great communicator so you start writing it then you rub it you strike it out because it doesn't make sense then you think of something else then you write it again i know it's not easy and that's why many people don't do it but what i know is simple and it is very effective okay so it is very very effective now what what extra it does basically when you start doing it almost every day 5 10 minutes you get into on some question and answer uh, related uh, writing or you just think something and you write about it you read something and you write about it you listen to something and you write about it and then see whether you are able to communicate what you wanted to say say okay uh, let's say that i read an article okay and then i just try to recreate that article uh, in my own way then after some time i will read that once again and i will see whether i am getting the same kind of output which i expected this article to give okay and i i find recreating of article this activity is very recreational in nature okay you and you will start enjoying it the kind of uh, kind of uh, effect it will give uh, to your communication process you will be amazed to see that okay so essentially what i am trying to tell you is that every day try to write something write your thoughts uh, whatever you are reading listening something just try to put that in words and then try to go through it evaluate if you are able to do justice to it okay this activity will yield you uh, kind of efforts which kind of effects which you will probably uh, won't won't be able to imagine okay as uh, einstein said that if you can't explain it simply you don't understand it well enough so uh, so always remember that people who are knowledgeable uh, who are very effective they would be able to explain everything in a very simple fashion so take this advice uh, if it makes sense to you get into this writing exercise uh, every day and uh, see your communication going to a level up every day okay happy learning everybody take care